just a quick video to share something I've been working on. It's, it's not ready yet and it probably won't be ready for a little while to come yet, but uh, I've been working on some integration between uh, the Falcon um, player, sorry, the Falcon um, controller. So I've got, I've got a Falcon here. Um, with an E131 configuration. Okay, which is pretty much blank um, and a string ports configuration, which has got some data in it. So let's zero all of that out. And we'll save it. Okay, so now what I've got in my show here is, is I have the Falcon controller defined. Here it is here. You can see I'm using Unicast, so uh, the IP address is there. Um, and I've got a bunch of models that are connected to it. So if I go over to the models, uh, there's some I've already set up. So the first one are my faces. So this face here. So I've added this controller connection property and uh, here it says that this is a WS2811 string and it's on the output port number one on the Falcon controller. Uh, this one here is also 2811 but on output port two and this one here is on output port three and I haven't done it for the mini trees but the mini trees, this one here. So that one is gonna be on port four. Um, and all the mini trees are chained together. So very quickly, we go through, we set all them up. So that they're all connected onto string port four. That hasn't taken. So you gotta remember to press tab after you've pasted something in because it doesn't actually take, it's a bug in uh, the way WX widgets works. All right. Okay, I think they're all done. Okay, so all of those are now defined. It's only a Falcon 4, so it's only got the four string outputs. So they're all my models are defined on it. So I can come back here and I can right click and there's this new menu item called upload to controller. So first of all, I need, I need to update two things on the Falcon controller. One, I need to update the E131 configurations or which universes it's gonna to listen to and the string ports, which is which data ports or which how those things are then going to be sent out. So let's start with the E131 configuration. We upload the controller, the input definition, because it's from the controller's perspective, it's an input and it's a Falcon controller. Um, you know, it's gonna upload the configuration. Um, are you happy with that? I am and it's done. And if I come over here and I refresh this now, we see that it's listening to universes 230 through to 239 at 510 per, and that's exactly what this is. Starts at 230, which is up here, and goes down to 239, which finishes here. They're all 510. This one starts at channel 34971, and this one starts at 34971. So it's uploaded all of that input configuration correctly. So now we need to look at our string ports. Now, the string ports, a similar thing, upload to controller, output Falcon. Um, it will upload it, yes, and it's done. And I come in here. Come on, there it is. Okay, and it's come up. Let's check that that looks okay. We'll start with our faces. So our face left here is on 36345, which it is, 36345. Uh, face two, 34971, 34971. 
not sure why it comes complaining about that. Um, the third face is on 35658, which is correct. And then the mini trees, uh, the first one is on 37521, which is 37521, and there's 38 pixels per, and there's 10 of them, so that's correct. 34971. Not sure why. Okay, it's not complaining anymore. So, okay, so that configuration has uploaded correctly. Now, of course, having uploaded it, I may now have uh, different uh, color orders. These might be GRBs. These first, this first through might be GRBs. Um, uh, you know, maybe this one is reversed for some reason. We save that. Okay, and just to prove that this actually does update, we'll put a one in there so that uh, uh, you can see it update. And so we'll come back to our setup and we're gonna re-upload it. And then we'll refresh it again. So we don't wanna resubmit the form. Just want to reload it. Okay, so you see it's uploaded it um, and it's kept the color order and the direction. So all of these fields over here don't get changed. So you can safely re-upload it uh, without worrying about whether it's going to screw up any of this configuration, which obviously can't be uploaded from X lights because it's not there. Um, uh, in theory, serial ports will also work. Um, I haven't tested that because I actually don't have anything to test it with. Um, but it looks pretty good. Uh, you do run into some challenges. If I was to go here and add a virtual string and, uh, sorry, if I was to make that 29 and make that 200, which means that would be 3, 6, 9, 4, 5. Okay, so I've, I've split this into uh, two virtual strings and maybe I've changed that direction. So now we've got some challenges because this is much more complicated and obviously XLights knows nothing about virtual strings. So when you do an upload uh, at this point, what happens is you get this error. So it's detected that string port one has virtual strings defined. Okay, proceeding will overwrite the first one only and you'll need to manually correct everything. So if you, up, if you click yes now, it's gonna replace this back with the original 229 and it's gonna leave this second row unchanged. Uh, if you click no, what will happen is it will totally ignore port one, so it won't update either of these top two rows, but it will proceed to update all the rows beyond. Um, so that's gonna be one of these, these limitations because we just don't have enough information to know what to put up here. Um, all I can do is either blindly just update the first row for you or leave it for you to go and update. So this is one of these things which is gonna work for people that keep things reasonably simple. At the moment, I've only got it working where there is either one model per um, output or multiple models per output, but not um, one model spread across multiple outputs. Uh, I still need to work further on that. And I still need to work on the concept of um, uh, a model that spans multiple controllers, and I'm, I'm not sure that's even gonna be possible. Um, but looking to solve uh, the problem of getting people's configuration correct with the minimum amount of work, um, at least uh, minimize the amount of duplicate entry. Um, I'll post this.